Gentleman reserves. Gentleman from Maryland is recognized. Mr. Speaker, thank you. I, I, I think the distinguished gentleman seems to concede the general principle that we should not be denying the opportunity of federal employment to half of the country because they've used marijuana before. And so uh, the, his argument seems to be, well, this would be, we've, we've denied so many people that this would be uh, an imposition on federal bureaucrats to go back and tell people when they've been wronged in the past simply by telling the truth and saying that they've once used marijuana. In fact, most of these agencies don't even require that there's any kind of criminal prosecution or conviction. If they, they ask you, have you used marijuana? And if people say, yes, I used it once in college or whatever, they can't get a job. I mean, that, that makes no sense. We're doing that to our constituents. So yes, let's go back and see how many people we've denied the opportunity of federal employment to because they've used marijuana, which is lawful in most of the country now, either on a medicinal basis or on a recreational basis for adult consenting individuals who decide that's a decision they want to make. Let's grow up as a country about this and let's stop discriminating against our own people. I reserve.